Lesson 6 is about integrands giving inverse trigonometric functions. Example number 3, we evaluate the integral of dx over x squared minus 2x plus 5. So in the case here, we have a trinomial in the denominator. But as you can see in the patterns here, among the three patterns here, there is no trinomial in the denominator. So most of the time, if we see patterns like this found in an integral in the denominator, what we're going to do is to form a perfect square trinomial by completing the square. So this x squared minus 2x plus 5 can be written as, so what we're going to do is to group together the terms with the variable, so that's x squared minus 2x, and look for the missing constant that would complete the square. So how do we find that missing constant? We just divide the middle term by 2 and raise it to the power of 2. So that's divided by 2, and raise it to the power of 2, and that would give us 1. But since we already have, we have 1 here, and this is 5, meaning we still have a lacking of 4. So we factor out, so this is already a perfect square trinomial. So we factor this out to express as a binomial raised to the power of 2. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 quantity squared and 4, square, and 4 is equal to 2 squared. Therefore, we can rewrite our given as dx over x minus 1 quantity squared plus 2 squared. So you see, it now follows the pattern of N2 where, where a squared is equal to 4, so a is equal to 2, and u squared is equal to x minus 1 quantity squared, so that u is equal to x minus 1, and du is just equal to dx. So replacing our given, expressing it into in terms of u, so we have du over u squared plus 2 squared. And integrating using the formula, that's 1 over 2 arc tangent of u over 2 plus c. And expressing u in terms of x, we have 1 half arc tangent u is equal to x minus 1 over 2 plus c.